to uh, thank all of you for coming. Those of you who are from parent advisory committees or PTAs, and uh, especially we want to thank the Pineview Middle School Band and the uh, Stewart Middle School Band and the band directors for uh, coming today. I know it's, it's, it's very hard just standing there. <coughs> this is, this is uh, a time of a groundbreaking and I think it's very significant because this is our 40th school. It's hard to believe in Pasco County, but this is our, the groundbreaking for our 40th school plan. I'd like to introduce at this time the people who make this possible, and that is the elected school board members of Pasco County, starting with our chairman, Kathleen Wolf. Members Agnes Deal, Dorothy Mitchell, Janet Toller, and Marcia Tyler. You know, planning a, a building requires the efforts of, of a lot of people and a lot of uh, coordination. This not only includes the board members, the district staff, school-based personnel, architects, and finally, construction companies. In a county as large as Pasco, it's also significant to determine where these schools ought to be built because there are a lot of factors that come into it, such as uh, how well the students will be served, how much will it cost to transport them to the facility, and so forth. And a person who plays a key role uh, for us <coughs> in where schools will be located is Mike Rapp, our school planner. And I just want to uh, take the opportunity to recognize Mike. Mike, where are you? Right back here. It's a very extensive process and of course the school board makes the final decision and they made the final decision on uh, this particular site but Mike does all the legwork he, he talks to the owners he negotiates with them as to uh, the price of the property and <clears throat> he makes arrangements for the school board members to uh, and the press and any other interested parties uh, to come and visit the school site and this is the one uh, that the school board selected and we think it's a very fine site and I personally think the board made a, a very wise choice. This is an isolated area right now and, and I think all of you could tell that when you uh, came into the site. But I think it's also significant uh, that over the years uh, that when we build a school that within a very short time there are a number of communities and, and uh, large numbers of houses that suddenly spring up around the school. So it has a way of attracting development. And, and of course, uh, as that development occurs, the property uh, becomes more valuable. But we can also tell you in the planning that already, and Mike uh, Rapp works very closely with the County Commission uh, uh, planning staff, and there are already uh, scheduled to be built and of course the economy is a little slow right now but there are already development plans from six to eight thousand home sites in the close proximity to this area and so we think that is significant uh, this school will open with approximately 600 uh, plus students and it will provide relief for Pineview Middle School Pasco Middle School and Raymond B. Stewart uh, middle school so we will have students from all three uh, students that have formerly gone to these schools will attend this school the school will be built initially for 1250 students so this will give us an opportunity to provide for the growth and and to allow the school to grow in an orderly fashion we have here approximately uh, 106 initially it was 106 acres and then we've 
uh, negotiated with the county in straightening the road out on the other end, which will probably give us another uh, six acres. So in, in all total, we'll have about 112 acres of land here. In addition to that, something I think that, that may be of interest to you, the, uh, we have, and I have already uh, t talked to the board about this, uh, and, and of course anything that, any agreements that we have would have to come back before the school board for their final approval, uh, but, but we have begun uh, to talk with uh, Dr. Bill Katzenmeyer from the University of South Florida about the possibility of uh, having this area uh, this this uh, school, the middle school, a future high school, and a future vocational school, and possibly even an elementary school to be built on this site in years to come that will be a demonstration school or schools uh, in partnership with the University of South Florida. And in other words, it will be uh, for the university's teacher training and also for administrator uh, training. And, and we're hoping that with legislative approval, we can get funding uh, to make that happen sooner than we could if uh, we were providing all the funds for these facilities ourselves. Uh, this school will have uh, five houses to house uh, the middle school teams in its initial stages. And this goes along with the uh, specifications in the middle school philosophy. And of course, in the development of Ed Specs, it, it, I would like to thank all the people, and many of them are here today, uh, both from school level administrators to teachers to district level staff who have participated in the development of the Ed Specs, from which the architect uh, develops the eventual uh, plans that are approved by the Department of Education. Uh, this firm that is, is, has designed this school is uh, Roe Holmes, Hammer, and Russell, and they have done a number of other uh, facilities for us in the district. This isn't the first association that our school board has had with this firm. Uh, among other things that they have done for us is Woodland Elementary School in Zephyr Hills, uh, Marchman Vocational Center in Newport Ritchie, and also Ridgewood High School in Newport Ritchie. And the uh, one of the principal architects is, is here with us today, Mr. Dwight Holmes. And Dwight, where are you? He's right here. Oh, I, I'm sorry, right in front of me. Uh, the school will be a single uh, story design, and in its initial stages, will have 145,000 uh, square feet. Uh, working with Dwight is his assistant, Tim Comans. Is Tim here? Tim? Uh, once the plans are drawn, we have to work with the State Department of Education to get the plans approved, and then it goes to bid. And working very closely uh, with the architect in this phase of, of uh, development is our school board architect, Herc Fleming, and Lee, Leroy McLean, who is our liaison with the State Department of Education. And I'd like to recognize Leroy and Herc. Well, I know they're, there they are in the back. And, and finally, uh, the low bidder on, on this job, and, and we are very pleased that, that they got the job because they have uh, done other uh, construction projects for us very successfully. They've recently built our management information uh, services facility at the district office, and they have uh, also, uh, under construction at this time, built uh, Giella Elementary School, or building Giella Elementary School, and this is uh, Wallbridge Construction Company, and with us today is the president of the company, Mr. Bill Roby. Bill? Right, right here. And we also have Bill Reed, the project manager, and Wally Tyndall, the superintendent. Bill, are they here? Uh, Probably back there as well. Okay, I see them right back here. And I, I wouldn't want to let this moment pass with, without uh, personally thanking uh, all of you members of the school board uh, for naming this, this school after me. Uh, I, I, by nature, I'm not a very emotional person and I don't display a lot of emotion, but I, I want to uh, say to you that I was deeply touched that you, were, that you gave me this honor 
and it's one of the nicest things that has ever happened uh, to me. And I appreciate it very much. Because of the occasion, I invited uh, my wife Catherine here today. She should be teaching at uh, Seven Springs Elementary School, uh, but I asked Mr. Wendlick if he would let her off for a couple hours to come over here. So I'd like to recognize Catherine too. And and with that, I, again, I would like to thank Kim Bondi uh, from uh, the band and also uh, <coughs> Russell Schmidt uh, from, the, from Pineview and Zephyr Hills Band. And we do have some refreshments here today. Uh, Jennifer Smith in our staff development and public relations is the one who, along with her staff, organized this and uh, invited all of you to come today. <coughs> and we're going to have the uh, board members break ground in just a minute. But before we do that, uh, Dwight Holmes and Bill Roby would like to make a, a commemorative presentation uh, at this time. So, fellas, would you come on up? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, we are also quite excited about the opportunity to work again with Pasco County, and I think I speak also for Bill and his firm. I think it's great to have continuing clients. Um, the, uh, the icing on the cake for us also was the naming of the school for Tom Waitman because uh, we couldn't be more flattered to be a part of that. Thank you, Tom. Uh, we have got uh, plaques for each of the board members and the other dignitaries, and I think probably to expedite this, when you all come up for the actual uh, groundbreaking, uh, if I could give you your plaques then, that might save us a, a, a little bit of the heat. Bill, would you like to say that? Yes, on behalf of Walbridge as well, I'd echo uh, White's comments. It is an honor to be associated with this project, particularly one that is, in fact, named after the superintendent of schools. Uh, as the superintendent uh, earlier recognized, uh, it is a joy for us in the fact that uh, the district school board of Pasco County does represent uh, a very substantial repeat client of ours, and we are most happy to be here. Uh, as we celebrate a groundbreaking today, I guess it's pretty obvious that we're celebrating a an investment of money in uh, sticks and bricks uh, that we certainly are happy about because we get to build it. Uh, but more importantly, I think it's really an investment in the future. A lot of our employees live in Pasco County. I've already been told that a number of their children are already slated to be attending to this school uh, once uh, it's constructed. Um, and I guess really as, as part of the, the celebration today of the groundbreaking, what we're really s celebrating is that investment in our future and in our children. Uh, it's certainly taken a lot of effort from a lot of the people that uh, Tom has already recognized, and I won't repeat them, uh, but uh, it's really just a, a very proud honor to be here today to celebrate this uh, involvement in this facility. Thank you. Oh, we got to do this right. That's the word I have. Everybody ready?